You used to be on uh, um, game shows a lot. I did a bunch of game shows when I was a starving actor, yeah, because I was uh, obviously poor. And it was a, it was a, a quick way to make, uh, if you did well, a bunch of money. You know, you could make more in a, in a couple hours than you could work in a couple weeks uh, you hope- attending bar or waiting tables. Were you hoping also that somebody might discover you no. because you're on TV? No, no. Okay. that doesn't happen. Okay, I've never heard anyone saying, you were wonderful on Password, we're going to give you a series. I don't, I don't want to say it's just showbiz works. Okay. But the great thing about... It was not a concern of mine to be, uh, to, for that to further my career. I was just in it for the cash Make and prizes. Money. And right. I bet that's still going on, right? You could probably still find aspiring actors just, hey, I've got time. I'm going to show up and be on The Price is Right or whatever. There right? were a ton of us who showed up for these um, casting calls they would have for the uh, game shows. And... Um, I don't know if that's still the case. I would assume so. But you would get in there and you would have your first initial, initial meeting where they'd have you go through like a little written quiz similar to the setup of the game to see how proficient you were. And they would interview you to see what your personality was like. And invariably they would say, and don't uh, don't mention you're, you're an actor. There was like a standard release mm. form. Say, don't bring up SAG. Don't tell anybody you're an actor. Don't think just whatever you do for your day job, that's right. what you are. 